What's up everyone? In 2019, you should have been looking at the sky to see birds fly. In 2021, it's at the ground. <laughs> so it's January. And uh, no, really, it's, it's just like the second day. Yeah. Feels like January though. Yeah. That's what I said. Where are we off to? The dunes. The, yeah. the sands or the mm -hmm. dunes. The weather wears on you. Like, the first day of rain and cold, you're like, yeah, we'll tough this one out. And then today, yesterday was... Now it's, it's quarter after nine, and we just left the hotel. Probably woke up, probably spent two hours in the hotel shooting, shooting that shit. Yes. Eating a cookie. Yeah. Some more pizza for breakfast. Yeah, chocolate milk. Uh, we did, Matt's teaching me how to use Photoshop, but I actually use it. While we sit in the car, truck, uh, turn the wipers off. This has been my day, <laughs> my, my trip is bike bossing. He likes it. I do, I do. But do you remember what makes to Sac special? Well, I believe it's at Quebec City. Is where it turns into like the actual St. Lawrence, where it mixes with the with the salt water. Where it changes from river. And you have two different densities. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's where the salt water kind of. So the salt water is pushing in from the ocean yep. all the way up to about Quebec City. Yeah. Give or take. Yeah. Okay, so I was right there. You were right. Okay. okay. What's the depth around there? Uh, I want to say it's between like uh, thirty and sixty meters. Yeah, I think I think that's about right. Yeah. Right. And then I believe right at like Tadoussac here. Yeah. That's where it gets to about. Um, what did you say? Like, like 300, two, 300, 300 yeah. We'll show the graph, but it goes like it goes like this, and then at two seconds it goes boop, and yeah. this goes like crazy deep. Right. There's a shelf. And, and that's why these whales come up this far. Partially because of the depth, and then also the they say Tadoussac has, it's called what, an upwell, we yep. learned? Yep, that's right. So it's all of that water from the Atlantic is coming in, and then it basically hits the wall. Yeah. Uh, the undersea shelf yeah. and just like comes flying up. Yeah. So all of that brings nutrients and feeding. Yeah. Um, like a diverse like uh, marine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And right. then the whales can kind of shelter in like they'll go up the fjord, which again probably only a few hundred feet deep, um, or even a hundred feet deep. But yeah, they'll, we didn't they'll come in and they'll shelter. And like the uh, Saint Marguerite Bay. That's why I was reading last night why the belugas and sometimes you'll get porpoises and dolphins, but the belugas especially, it sounds like they'll like raise their young in the bay. Right. Um, just because it's a safe, easy spot. Um, yeah, so sure. I think we're, more protected. We're past beluga season, it seems like. Yeah. But, uh, Experts. But it's cool. So this, the St. Lawrence, I mean, I assume most people watching this will be people like from around here that we've kind of known. But if you're not from this part of Canada or this part of the world, the St. Lawrence Seaway uh, which again, I'll maybe I'll throw up a map picture, but it's where the ocean empties into Canada, and then the St. Lawrence and the U.S. I guess, and the St. Lawrence yep. is connected to the five Great Lakes. Right. And when when this like part of the world was founded, that's how everybody got around. Yep. It's, it's still, I, I mean, you sit here and you see these massive ships going up and down. Yep. So that's how goods would get brought, and yep. and like I mean, that's why if you look at a a map of North America, you'll see like you know so many population centers tagged onto the Great Lakes. Right. All the original ones were either on the ocean or on the Great Lakes. Sure. So that was the only way yeah, to go. All these settlements. Detroit, like Quebec, Chicago, Toronto, Quebec Montreal. City, Montreal. Quebec, yeah. Quebec, yeah. 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 Minneapolis. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense. Right. There's a lot Milwaukee, of... Milwaukee, I don't know where they are. Yeah. The, the, yeah. We're, we don't want to like just botch the U.S. Denver. No, Denver's in the mountains. Yep. Yeah. Arkansas. That's no. That's state. Yeah. Not on the Great Lakes. No, no. Mm. Flor Florida? Florida's on a great ocean. Lake. Oh, yeah, right. Day two, we are at Le Dunes. That's Matt way down there. Right 
there. I am not walking down that hill. There are a bunch of crazy little sparrows though, so I'm gonna shoot those and see what happens. Okay, looks to be it was some sort of warbler. Got a few shots. Which I will put up. He was right, uh, kind of bouncing around these these trees. Pretty dark. I mean, is it ISO 8000? Oh, got a hawk. Matt's back. And yeah, this is my first time really seeing like I mean the expanse of the St. Lawrence. It's very pretty. This is a very pretty place. I guess it probably gets busier in summer, but first day of October, the only people here. If you've left by now, mm -hmm. or before this, if you haven't, gracias. I listen to podcasts that talk just as much nonsense as we're talking. I do too, but there's no like video. Would I watch them or would I just like kind of just drive and just listen? What if I just saw two meatheads just and I had to stare at their faces the whole time and just talk ridiculousness? Hey, I'd cut my own Would hair. I do it? I cut my own hair too. I got this like Stacy London thing here. You know, remember her from like what not to wear? She had that like long piece of gray. Yeah. Like, this is this is natural. You had a little one. Could be birth. It like, gets big when my hair is longer. Oh. Obviously, it's just, um, <laughs> you should grow that piece like, out. <laughs> I told Mike I was going to go for a walk, and uh, I walked, and I walked, and I walked, and I said, you know what, there could be something at the end here that might be really cool that I could uh, incorporate in the video for us, so I walked, and then I started to climb, and I climbed a little more, and then I ended up, so, I mean, even though I wanted to turn around, even though many, 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 many other people I'm sure made this climb, it's still worth it to know that I came up here for these vistas and these views. Michael is, I don't think you're able to see, I'll zoom in a little bit. Right there, there's that black truck. That's the, that's the ram, way off in the distance. I actually went down the dunes first, walked down to the, to the lake, I'm so used to calling it lake, to the St. Lawrence, and then worked my way back up. So I probably took the, the longest of the routes, uh, but still totally worth it. What a view. What?
Okay, another update. Uh, was waiting for whales, and lo and behold, there are a bunch of whales. Um, basically, I'm just kind of following the boat. I mean, they're probably a few kilometers out, so these aren't going to be good pictures, but. The weather has cleared up great, uh, getting lots of video. I've got the monopod set up, so sitting on a bench, feet are quite comfortable. Uh, and also, I think I might have just gotten my first golden eagle. Well, that'll remain to be seen for an ID, but I was just sighting in and something like flew up the coast over the, uh, over the trees. And uh, that wasn't a golden eagle. I don't know what it was. So we'll we'll see. I would love to see if these whales would breach. Again, pretty far. So far, no regrets uh, for going out on a trip because the. Well, these are cool to watch. I mean, I've, I've seen whales up close. I've seen a mother and calf humpback both breach uh, from a, a small boat in Mexico close. So this is still great to watch, but I think I'd rather watch from here on a nice, nice little bench than stuck out in a Zodiac bouncing around. Unless something really special happens and I miss it, so. But it's beautiful here. Um, this is really great. This is, uh, the, I mean, the, now that the sun's cleared off, this is the best weather we've had on the whole trip. So for a day that started looking pretty terrible, this is really nice. So. The St. Lawrence is so big. This is pretty wild. Alright, what? I thought you wanted a video. Is it recording? Uh, yeah. Oh. Well, we were just so excited a minute ago, I thought we should talk about it. Oh, it. yeah, sure, sure. Now we're not excited. <laughs> Are you not excited anymore? Or, uh, Mike, Mike's you, don't, excited. you don't sound excited. I still have chocolate milk that's been cooking in the sun for two hours. So Mike tells me to. Uh, that's, get, a, that's a warm. <laughs> Mike tells me to get the video going, and, uh, and then loses all wind in his. Yeah, no, we okay. So we made the video this morning, <laughs> as you will have already seen, because you are our loyal viewer base. That it was miserable. It was I'll cold. It, it was wet. It was windy. It was looking like a, an awful day. And if, if Matt can flip around, it's beautiful. I mean, it's it's only twelve degrees, but I mean it's October. So. Also, it's, uh, we still haven't done anything here. Let's get a clip of these crazy. I mean, do, appreciate the do they scale. do they look crazy to you? They're big. They're big. They're big. I don't oh. think can, the 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 cell phone can really. Yeah, they're big dunes though. Yeah. I want to rally through there. So. So we're back. Huh. Yeah. So we're gonna go get some sandwiches from uh, the hotel that we already bought, which is great. It's ready yes. to go, and then. Uh, we're gonna drive back up the fjord and uh, go see the bay again. Yep. I guess I don't know. We'll see. I don't. I don't know if they're gonna, if it's if I mean if it's super busy or if they're trying to charge us a bunch of money. We'll see what happens. But we might as well take a cruise down that way and uh, see what happens. I mean, at least the day is nice. I mean, I, I, two days in a row of crazy driving and just brutal weather it's nice to like not be wet yeah <laughs> yeah and not have be driving yeah uh, hundreds of kilometers yeah have my sunglasses on the weather doesn't suck this is good all right checking in a bit let you know what we find <laughs> 